I am a little bit like like that. I'm like oh my yeah, look at that. Hi guys, my name is Anna and I am a trader in binary options and I want to tell you one good news. I have free telegram channels, absolutely free, where I post signals and we can actually trade together. I'm just welcoming all of you who are into it or interested to just follow my links and find my telegram channels to trade together. Hi guys, here is me Anna. I am right there at the Quartex. Today we're going to be trading and I just want to mention that in the beginning, that I have my free chart with the signals. I know you know that, but don't forget to check it below the video or just in my bio. All the links are the only one. Please be attentive to lots of fake accounts. Um, let us start again. Um, that's going to be one minute for us as a trading period and 523, if to be precise, for the start and sum. 80 is going to be the first indicator we're going to be using uh, and we're just going to be fixing all that periods of this indicator. Mm, second one going to be the boss power, which is with the 80 x a nice combination. I like it. I like it. And the second one is going to be the super trend. Actually, that's the combo. Something like 80 x and the boss power plus any indicator that is actually located on the chart. You can play with that, switch from some to some indicators and just try to find which is working for you better strategy. Um, currency pairs from the top of the list. Just scratching. And that's it. That's it. So we are something like at the bottom. And we already just started to move upward, so we are just hoping for that. Bell's power reacting on the candles quite a lot. Sometimes it is showing to us a little bit more. So it's sometimes not only about the candles, which is changing color, but about the candles, which is going to be actually the next one. And that's important. But even one meetup is a little bit too much for the one candles, because 10 seconds candles, that's for us. And 8x with all the three lines actually that we need to know if the lines trying to cross all three lines they're getting so together that means we're going to be switching to the opposite trend and right there with the 80x actually it's a little bit complicated and you can see that we just making that for the second time and that's bad because our prognosis was to go upward and what I want to tell you about the ADX. So we need to be actually following the moment when this crossing is happening. It's not so perfectly combined with the chart, or at least it requires some attention. And I think it's a little bit look-alike situation. It's kind of bottom. We have the long, long falling and super trend. It's still on this lower tendency. But I think we just hitting the bottom. We are so about to be upward. It's something about something like being a psychic because not enough signals from any of these indicators actually that I'm right. And by now I'm completely wrong because ADX line are flat, distant, and they are not interested to get together and to get across at all. What about the bounce power? Yep, here is like zero level and we're just crossing that. But look at that. All this falling actually was kind of like the upward trend. And maybe it's not like getting upward that fast, that clear, but that's definitely not getting maybe more downward. And in some cases, this is the upward trend. Yeah, look at that. So that was just even this tiny moment of getting a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and now the lines of the ADX. But if you are um, in such situation like that, because even a few minutes ago, it was the same situation with the same indicators, but we never, never went upward. Ignore that and think about some more easy and nice situations. Okay, that's the bottom for us again. 
I think. And I'm not gonna be, here's like more, that's the better situation because we are getting crossed with the CDX lines and the bounce power showing us the next, I think it's gonna be maybe on the same level, maybe a little bit downward, but it's not like completely downward. So let's wait. So right there, this is the better prognosis, the better result. We are actually getting upward and kinda, this one is not getting upward. Yeah, let's go back. And uh, super trend still haven't changed, but it's fine for us because you may see it is so about to happen. Okay, we're gonna get downward, I think, and we get a play for that. And there's the question how long that's gonna be. Boss power showing us, and we are actually at the top of the hill, so we have this plenty of space. I mean, if checking the chart. But Wells Power kinda in the lowest position. We had like the crossing of the 80s. Is uh, the crossing when that was exactly? Was it for this actually downward trend from the beginning? Because you know, with, like with the MACD, the candles just showing us firstly what is going on, and then the lines, but what about the tendency? This changing could actually happen before the crossing or a little bit after, so we need to be quite attentive what it's actually related to. I am a little bit like, like that, and if I'm <laughs> talking too slow, I'm sorry because I just got, I don't know, something between very focused and very distracted. Um, how about this one, what's my thoughts on it? I think we gotta get downward just in a minute because now we are rising, but that's not gonna get that long, like one minute, I think. But it is showing us we are keeping the tendency, but I think boss power, yeah, boss power already the peak. So let's wait for that. If I'm being honest, I just realized that it's the bad, bad, bad thing that we have all these bads are on the different levels. That happens when the market is going too fast and you're entering like, you know, on my... Oh my... That's what just I told you. I was correct about this downward tendency, but it was short. And there's different estimated levels. Nailed me. This is it, this is done, we just finished. And after I have this 50-50 situation, on the last bet, with the oldest money that were actually invested, I'm just like, maybe I need to finish that forever. That's hard, I'm too emotional. But anyway, I think it's not a bad result, it's just the bad luck. <laughs>